Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about 10 Things I Hate About You, and this movie came out in 1999, starring Heath Ledger, and I liked this movie, surprisingly. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it all that much, but I enjoyed it more than I thought I would. And the things that I liked about this movie were the performances. I thought everyone was really good. I loved Heath Ledger in this movie. I thought he did a great job. Joseph Gordon-Levitt and even Allison Janney is in this movie for like five minutes. And she was kind of funny in it. And overall, I would say this movie has a good cast. And there's some likable characters in this movie. And I liked the, the female lead. I can't remember her name right now, but she was interesting and entertaining and the way her character is written like you can understand why she is the way that she is even from the opening scene and there's a lot of subtleties to like kind of pick up on just from the first 10 minutes of the movie and it makes her character interesting to watch and there's also parts of this movie that are well shot which surprised me there was a nice wonder that uh, was uh, kind of fun to watch, and the comedy in this movie didn't always work for me, but I got a few uh, good laughs in this movie. I enjoyed the comedy more than I didn't, and the story itself, surprisingly, I was actually interested in where it was going, and I was on board with it, and although I do think there's too many characters in this movie, and you could uh, trim a couple of them out, at the same time, I do like uh, what the story eventually does with all these different storylines going all along. And it was uh, well focused for what it wanted to show off and uh, have you care about. And for most of the movie, you're going to have to suspend disbelief uh, because uh, the movie is uh, kind of taking place in a cartoonish world. And uh, there's just so many things going on that's in my opinion, would not happen in any other school. <laughs> Maybe this was acceptable at the time. I have no idea. Maybe it's just uh, my biased interpretation. But there's some stuff in this movie that teachers do that I just... <laughs> I can see not going well if it happened today. And although uh, the movie does work for me for the most part, and there are moments in the movie where it uh, does uh, kind of subvert expectations at points, unfortunately... Uh, even though it does have that going for it, I don't really see myself re-watching this movie, at least for a while, because I'm just not excited to revisit any particular scene for the most part. Like, there's a couple of scenes that I would like to revisit uh, because they were fun and memorable, but uh, there's other parts of the movie that just like, yeah, that happened, and it just didn't really stand out as anything special. And I'm not really a big fan of the dad character. I just found him to be kind of annoying. And also just the only reason the movie has a plot. And it was just kind of annoying whenever he was on screen. Like I just wanted him to go away. And I do like it that this movie is nice and short. And the movie it does move at a brisk pace. No scene feels like it's just thrown in there for the sake of having more scenes in there. Like, everything feels very tight, and not much time is wasted because of that. And that's something that I do like. It does everything it has to, and does try to give you something more. And I liked what I got, even if it didn't impact me as much as many, many other movies that I've seen. I do appreciate a decent amount that happened in this movie, and what it was trying to offer. So I would recommend it, and I do like it, and I would give it a positive rating. <laughs> so definitely check out uh, this movie whenever you get the chance, and with all that being said, I'm going to give 10 Things I Hate About You a 6 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below. You thought of 10 things I hate about you and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for Jeepers Creepers. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day.